Yes, and that has been uh, the hallmark of uh, devolution, actually, since uh, uh, this kicked in. Mm -hmm. We find that uh, most counties stopped or they are not getting as much revenue from their own source. In fact, in some countries, they are getting less than the county councils of before, mm -hmm. and that's a problem. Mm -hmm. the counties must use devolution to enable local capacity, to enable production. Mm -hmm. I know it has been um, uh, a problem with the counties complaining, and a bit of that has been genuine, that uh, the services that were devolved, the money never really followed them uh, properly. For instance, health. Mm -hmm. For sure, health, the amount of money that goes to the counties is minute compared to actually how much should have gone for devolution. But be that as it may, there's still a lot of work that counties need to do themselves. The little money that they have, they need to build capacity, they need to build production such that as they get the national revenue, they're also collecting enough. And if they don't collect enough, then that deficit will be growing mm -hmm. year in, year out. Mm -hmm. They'll be asking for more money from national government, they'll be collecting even less, and even the less they collect, there's a lot of pilferage and wastage. Mm -hmm. um, that's why there was a time that um, um, there was a, a cry that can we have a unified uh, county finance management system mm -hmm. which can take in all the counties um, that has not happened as yet so each county does its own thing of course they are all uh, uh, in if means at one point or the other but in terms of the local collection and they do their own things mm -hmm. that can be streamlined secondly is how do we ensure that there is enough accountability mm -hmm. at the local level that has also been an issue because the people who are tasked with the local level accountability is at the MCS. Mm -hmm. But the law as it is, and that's one of the things that the BBI was actually going to sort, mm -hmm. the law as it is that the MCS can only use money that has been appropriated to them with the goodwill of the county government. The person you are supposed to supervise and oversight yes. is the one whom you determine for your daily living. Yes. That will never work. Uh -huh. So the BBI had this proposal where now the county assemblies were going to have their own fund, uh, direct uh, just the, the county governments have their own fund. Mm -hmm. So that will have given that independence that the county assemblies require for them to do that. The third thing is about capacity of the county assemblies themselves. I know this is something which is contentious, uh, where some people ask, how will the county assembly be able to oversight the county government in some cases where there is a very wide disparity in knowledge and education? Is it time that education qualifications for the MCS, for instance, mm -hmm. is relooked at? To the level where the constitution actually thought it should have been because this has been suspended now twice it is debatable some people say you don't need academics for you to lead mm -hmm. but in other case you are never going to comprehend mm -hmm. complex matters yeah if you are not able to have that knowledge and the skills to do that